All right, this will be Q&A video number 36, and I'm just going to get right into it. The first couple of questions come from Brad Duffy, the first one being, how do you know when you've realized or reached your potential? The answer is, you don't know. You'll never know if you've realized or reached your potential. How the fuck would you know? The next question being, when's a good time to start using steroids? The answer, it's never a good time to start using steroids, but if you're going to, at least educate yourself as best as possible so you don't fuck yourself up. Next couple of questions come from Michael Johnson, the first one being, if you were to do a workout in which you wanted to impose a low demand on the nervous system, could you include speed work? I say yes you can, and the reason being, generally with speed work, you're using roughly half as much of what you can lift for one, and you're not taking your sets anywhere near failure. He also wanted me to provide parameters to promote growth optimally through mechanical tension and muscle damage, and the reason I'm not going to do that is because the parameters would just be too broad. You can inflict damage with one rep, or a bunch of reps, a few sets, or a bunch of sets. As it relates to tension, the heavier the weight, the greater the tension, but you can make the weight feel heavier than it is by doing either more reps or resting less. So the parameters would be too broad, and for that reason, I'm not going to go there. Killian EF wants to lose 2-7% to body fat, wants to know if it would be optimal for fat loss to follow a low-volume, high-frequency approach. Now, I can't say if it would be optimal for you. However, if those were my goals, that's definitely an approach I would experiment with. Shivam Matal, hopefully I said that right, wants to know if dips are bad and wants to know if the reason he's experiencing pain in the shoulders is because he's going too low. Now it's impossible for me to comment on that. I have no idea how low you're going, but I will say this. I've been doing dips with multiple plates attached to a weight belt for years. And I've never had a fucking problem. The reason being, an exercise is neither good nor bad. It's neutral. It depends on who's doing it and how it's being done that will determine whether or not it's good or bad. Now I'm going to do an Instagram post on this in the next couple of days, so look out for that. I'll wear very similar colors, black and red, so it'll be easier for you to find it, and I'll talk about this a little bit more for you. Last comment comes from Andrew Brown. He says, you got to be fucking kidding, all tell and no show. Well, Andrew, I didn't know I had preschoolers watching me. For people like you who don't understand words too well, maybe someday I'll put together a picture book.